All right, let's dive into a technology that isn't just another upgrade. It's a complete reimagining of how accounting and finance get done. We're talking about intelligent agents, and believe me, they are about to change the game. If you're in finance, does this list look painfully familiar? Fragmented data everywhere, those never-ending reconciliations, the constant grind of variance analysis, and of course, the pressure of month-end close. It's a cycle of manual work that just burns people out. And let's be honest, traditional automation has barely made a dent. But the approach is now fundamentally changing. We're moving away from fixing tiny, isolated pieces of the problem, you know, like a single script for one type of reconciliation. Instead, we're automating entire end-to-end -end workflows. That's the whole idea behind agentic automation. It's not about making one little task faster. It's about making the whole process intelligent. So what's at the heart of this new world? Well, the answer is agents. And getting your head around what an agent is and what it is not is probably the single most important distinction you're going to make this year because this tech is exploding. Okay, so when people hear AI in accounting, this is usually the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, I get it. We just set up a private chat GPT and poof, we have an agent. But, you know, that's not quite right. Actually, it kind of misses the whole point. Let's break down the differences, because they are huge. A large language model, an LLM, is fantastic at reading and summarizing. Its job is to produce text. But an agent, an agent executes. It takes actions, it makes decisions, it runs processes. An LLM has no memory from one second to the next. An agent maintains context across multiple steps, pulls data straight from your GL. And this is an absolute game changer for auditors. It leaves a perfect step-by-step -step audit trail. So, if you remember one thing today, make it this analogy. Think of the LLM as the brain. It does the thinking, the analysis, the interpretation. But the agent? The agent is the entire accounting team. It's the brain plus the hands, the systems, the checklists, everything. It puts the brain's intelligence to work. An LLM thinks. An agent works. And what kind of work are we talking about here? Well, agents are like conductors of an orchestra. They orchestrate all the tools you're probably already using. They run Python scripts, fire off SQL queries, manage your data pipelines, and then generate the final reports, whether that's an Excel file or even a draft of the MDNA. They connect all the dots for you. Okay, so how do they actually pull this off? Let's peel back the onion one more layer and look at the two core technologies that make these agents tick. Langgraph and something called RAG. First up, Langgraph. The easiest way to think about this is like a super-powered flowchart for your accounting processes. It maps everything out, tasks, decisions, approvals, exactly how a real finance department works. You know, complete this step, check if the variance is over 5%, if yes, go here, if no, flag it for human review. It's a digital twin of your workflow. And you can immediately see why this is such a perfect fit for our world, right? Accounting is a graph. The month-end close is just a series of connected steps. Generating financial statements is a flow that starts with the trial balance. LineGraph gives us the framework to finally automate these complex, multi-step processes from end-to-end -end reliably. Now, the second piece of this puzzle is RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. And this, this is the key to doing all of this securely. Think of RAG as a hyper-secure librarian. The agent doesn't give the LLM, the brain, the keys to the whole library. Instead, it tells the RAG librarian, go fetch paragraph three from this specific contract. RAG finds just that one little piece of information and brings it back for analysis. That's it. And that simple idea is an absolute game changer for security. When you combine RAG with a private LLM, you get all the analytical power of these incredible models, but without ever exposing your sensitive financial data. There is simply no data leakage because the model never sees the full data set. So what kind of stuff is our secure librarian fetching? A whole range of your proprietary data. We're talking specific clauses from contracts for revenue recognition, your internal accounting policies, forecast assumptions from prior memos, even historical TB data. It gives the LLM just enough context to be smart without ever giving away the keys to the kingdom. So this brings us to what is, without a doubt, the most important topic for any finance professional, data security. Let's just quickly walk through the multi-layered security architecture that makes all of this possible and safe. It all starts at layer one the network. The principle here is dead simple. 
all the AI processing, all the thinking happens inside your own private secure cloud network. Your data never, ever travels over the public internet. It's completely sealed off. Next up, layer two is all about data minimization. The agent is smart enough to automatically mask or black out sensitive info like vendor names or employee IDs. Unless that specific piece of data is absolutely essential for a task, it stays hidden. Less exposure just means less risk. Then you have layer three, the audit trail. This is completely non-negotiable. Every single action the agent takes is logged. Every decision it makes, every piece of data it looks at, every call to the LLM. This creates a perfect, unchangeable record that's always ready for your auditors. Layer four is absolutely critical, keeping a human in the loop. The system is designed to stop and ask for your permission on the big judgment-based calls, things like a final revenue recognition conclusion or a tricky IFRS interpretation. The agent does all the prep work, but a human professional always, always makes the final call. And finally, layer five brings us right back to RAG, enforcing what we call document boundaries. The LLM is essentially kept in a secure room and is only shown one paragraph at a time. It never sees the full contract or the full policy manual, which prevents any possibility of a large-scale data leak. So, with all this incredible automation and security built in, what does this actually mean for the role of the accountant? Well, it's a huge shift from being the preparer of data to being the strategist who uses it. Just look at this real-world example of an agent going from a trial balance to an MDNA. It pulls the data, does the transformations, uses RAG to pull in contract details for the notes, runs the variance analysis, and then drafts the entire report. And then, this is the most important part, it pauses, it stops, and it waits for a human to review, approve, and add their own strategic insight. And this slide really says it all, doesn't it? This is the evolution. The accountant goes from being the preparer to the reviewer, from being the data gatherer to the decision maker, from being the spreadsheet operator to being a true business strategist who interprets the amazing work the agent has prepared. You know, this quote from Sung Lee just hits the nail on the head. This technology isn't about replacing accountants. It's about replacing the tedious, the repetitive, the mechanical parts of the job. Basically, the parts that nobody got into accounting to do in the first place. So this really leaves us with one final crucial question. This technology is here. It's happening now. It's transforming the profession from the ground up. So the only real question is, is your team ready to make that shift? Are you ready to stop preparing and finally start strategizing?